everyone, welcome back to another Friday Night Craft Beer Review. I'm Brian. I'm Kelly. For Short Circuit of Brewers. And tonight we're going to review a beer that is pretty sought after. As a matter of fact, it sold out in about 20 minutes. Aficionados actually had some. I was able to sneak out and get some before it sold out. I think I got the last four pack, as a matter of fact. So, awesome. I'm glad I was able to find it. But uh, when they release it every year, it's, it sells out really quick. Um, so... It is the Fathead Brewing Company, and it is their Imperial IPA, and that is called Hop Juju. And it's the earrings. Yeah, right. Yeah, so she's wearing her hop earrings to celebrate the <laughs> release of Hop Juju. Uh, incidentally, uh, this beer was bottled just a few days ago. They had put a date on the bottle, and that's uh, pretty cool. They let you know when it was bottled. So IPAs are definitely to be drank whenever they're freshest. And uh, so I don't, I don't think you get a whole lot fresher than, than what we have here, unless you're maybe going down to the brewery and getting a growler or whatever. But a um, little bit about the beer. Uh, it won some medals, right? Mm -hmm. Gold medal, 2013, 2015, and then a bronze in 2016. Nice, so I have to say, we're really, really blessed in Ohio with, you know, as young as the beer scene is here, as far as craft beer goes, we have a lot of award-winning breweries. So we're, we're really blessed with that. Um, the beer is actually 9% alcohol, uh, 100 IBUs, they say 100, 100 plus. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so hoppy, it jumped on her ears. Um, and uh, according to the website, it says that they use uh, Cascade, Centennial, Chinook, Simcoe, and Citra hops in it. Um, the malt bill is pretty... Standard for an IPA, um, it is. That's about covering all aspects of hops. Yeah, well, yeah, the the sea hops and then uh, Simcoe is an awesome hop too. Nice. I really like that one in my uh, when I make an IPA. Uh, the grain bill is uh, pale malt, caramel fifteen, and then a caramel light. So should expect to see kind of a golden color with it. Um, some food pairings would be some spicy food, maybe some barbecue smoked food. Um, it would definitely hold up well to, you know, anything spicy, you know, Grilled whether it's, shrimp. yeah, Thai food or, you know, a, a pizza that's got some good spice to it. So, um, enough talking about it. Let's get into it. I think pizza goes with everything. Yeah, right. Yeah, what doesn't go with pizza? Especially beer. <laughs> so, let's see what we got here. Yep, it is a really nice golden color. It's very um, pretty. A little bit clearer than I might have expected. Um... I don't know if they do much dry hopping on it at all, but it uh, definitely is is a little bit clearer than I was expecting. So um, let's let the mystical magic of hop juju begin. Let's uh, get the nose on it. Wow. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm picking up. I'm picking up that Cascade. That's my favorite. For sure. Yeah, I actually grow some of that hop. Uh, in my backyard. Just put it on yourself. <laughs> <Right. Clone. laughs> exactly. A, that might be a good idea. But yeah, I know whenever <laughs> harvest time is around and I'm picking my hops, you help me pick them and mm -hmm. they are really, really pungent and smell awesome. So. But protect your arms because you will get all scratched up. Yeah, yeah they are pretty rough. So, but yeah, nice. I'm definitely picking up a lot of citrus notes, um, some grapefruit, mm. um, definitely some orange. Man, I'm, I'm excited to try it. So. Let's, uh, let's give it a, give it a taste. Cheers. Wow, it's smooth. That's really good. Wow. Definitely good. You know, they, they said in their description that uh, there might be a little bit of an alcohol note to it, but I, I got to be honest with you, it seems very well balanced. Um, the malt has a nice flavor that comes through. It's not, for 100 IBUs, it's really well balanced as far as bittering goes. And, uh, I, you know, mouthfeel is great. And I'm not a big IPA drinker, and I like this a lot. Yeah, just a lot of times. I'm just more of a stout. Yeah, yeah, I know she, she's not a, a huge IPA drinker, but um, this is definitely a good one. They have a couple breweries. One of them is in Cleveland, and the other one is in Pittsburgh. Um, I was looking on their website earlier, doing a little research for the beer. They have and, tours, uh, don't they? They do tours. Uh, they have, you know, I'm seeing all the time on Twitter, they're publishing like a lunch menu and all that kind of stuff. So We love doing tours. It's yeah. so fun. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. So It's a neat date. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Valentine's Day was just the other day. So, you know, hopefully some of you guys got out there some breweries and uh, toured some of them. So, 
Um, I think it's really a good beer. If you can find it, definitely try some. Um, you know, I, I can't find anything wrong with it at all. It definitely has a, a wonderful flavor. Uh, mouthfeel is great. Wonderful beer. So, cheers, Fathead. Thanks for the uh, hop juju. Uh, wonderful beer. This has been Brian. And Kelly. For Short Circuit of Brewers. Have a beer. The weekend is here. Cheers. Cheers. Oops. Cheers. <laughs> Good. Too bad we can't have um, beer for breakfast because this would be a good one. <laughs> well, there's nothing that says you can't have beer for breakfast, but uh... it just tastes like. <laughs>